Hi guys, this is Sadiq from Dwarden.com and in this video, we'll show you how to pass the safety net on your rooted Pixel 6, 6a and 6 Pro phones running on the latest Android 13 build. So as you could see, my I'm using the Pixel 6a phone. It's currently rooted by a Magisk and it's on the latest Android 13 build. As you could verify from here, the steps are applicable across all the three Pixel 6 series phone and the process will not wipe off any data on your phone. But still, please take a backup of all the data just to be on the safer side. Once that is done, let's get started with the steps. So first off, launch the Magisk app and tap on the settings icon at the top right. Then you have to tap on hide the Magisk app. So tap on this option and enable the toggle next to allow from this source. Then go back and you should now get a hide the Magisk option. So give it any name of your choice. In my case, I'm renaming the Magisk app to Droidwin. You could give it any name you want. Then tap on OK and it will now hide the Magisk app and should only take a few seconds. So let's wait for the time frame and it will now relaunch the Magisk app and it will now ask you to make a shortcut to the home screen. I don't want the shortcut so I'm tapping on cancel. It's completely up to you if you want or not. So with this the rename has been completed. Let me show you once. So as of now I will no longer get the Magisk app and there is no Magisk logo as well. But instead of that I will be getting the Droidwin app and the Android basic Android app logo. And from now onward, this is our new Magisk app. So as you could see, this is our Magisk app. Once that is done, once you have renamed the Magisk, again go to the settings icon. This time you have to install the systemless host module. So then go to the Magisk section and tap on systemless host. That will add the module to the Magisk. Let's verify the same. So go back, then go to the module section. And you, sh you should see the module is now activated and has been added onto our phone. So once that is done, you now have to enable Zygisk. So launch the Magisk, then tap on the settings icon. Before that, as you could verify from here, it's showing no next to Zygisk. So it means that this is not currently enabled. So now go to the settings icon of Magisk and then en enable the toggle next to Zygisk. It will now ask to restart our phone. We will not do a restart now, we will do a restart after flashing a module. So next up, let's now flash the module. So let me show you the name, it's the universal safety and fixed module. So you have to download the module from the guide given in the link and make sure to download the new module which is the mod 3.0. So download this module and transfer it to your phone. If you cannot see your phone over here, then go to the settings icon from here, expand the Android system section and make sure to choose Android file transfer from here. Your phone will now be visible over here and then you could transfer the file safety net fix module onto your phone. You could place it anywhere onto your phone, that does not matter. Once you have placed this file onto your phone, we will now have to flash this module. So for flashing the module, launch the Magisk app, which in our case is name as Droidwin. Then from the Magisk home menu, you have to go to the module section. Now tap on install from storage and simply select the zip file module zip file. So as you could see, this is the module zip file selected and it will now be flashed. Once that is done, you now have to tap on reboot. So hit reboot and your phone should now boot to the OS. Please make sure to flash the new module, the new mod 3.0 module and not this module. It's the latest one which is currently working well and good with the latest Android 13 build. So make sure to flash that module itself and your phone should now boot to the OS once you have flashed and once the flashing is complete we will now begin with the steps to hide the root from various Google system apps and framework. So let's wait while the phone is booting up. Do note that sometimes the boot might take up a little bit longer. That's completely normal. Anyways our phone is now booted and we'll now have to first verify if the module has been flashed and Zygis have enabled or not. So launch the Magisk app and as you should see next to Zygis it's showing as yes. So with this the Zygis has been enabled onto our phone and so let's now go to the module section and verify the same form here. So as you could see both the modules are now running and active. So with that done let's now proceed ahead. So first off let's hide the root from these four apps and then we'll remove data of these four apps. So for hiding the root from these apps you have to go to the settings menu. From settings menu just you have to enable the toggle next to enforce deny list then go to configure deny list and now let's hide the root from these four apps. So make sure to check mark the overflow icon and check mark show system apps. But this is system apps are now visible. So let's now start hiding the root. So first and foremost search for play service just a minute and enable it and make sure to enable all the associated process of this toggle. So just a minute let me show you. So make sure to enable all the process of the play service. And you should see the blue bar filled at the top to signify that all the process have been enabled. Likewise, let's not do so for Google Play Store as well. So let's search for Play Store, expand it and now check mark so that all the process gets 
enabled. Let me show you just a minute. So with this, we have also done so for Google Play Store. Next up is the Google Service Framework. So let's search for the Services Framework app as well. So Google Service Play Services, just a minute. So let me search for service. So make sure to do so for Google Services Framework as well. And finally, is the Google Play Protect Service. So let's search for Play Protect Service as well. Play Protect and enable the toggle next to it as well. So make sure the Google Play Service, Play Store, Service Framework, and Play Protect Service, all these four apps should be now should be hidden from the root. Once you have done so, you will now have to remove the data of all these four apps. So let's do that as well. So for that, go to the settings menu. From settings menu, go to apps, then see all apps, and now tap on the overflow icon at the top right and check mark show system. With this, the system app will now be, be visible. And let's now remove data of four apps. For first and foremost, let's search for play service. So select it, then go to the storage and cache section, then tap on manage space, tap on clear all data, and tap on OK. Once that is done, you now have to remove the data of Google Play Store as well. So go back and just a minute, let me do so for play service as well once again. So just to re-verify the same so that data have been removed. Okay, well and good. Now go back, again go back. Let's now search for the Google Play Store. And let's make a search for the Play Store now. So go there, go to storage and cache section, tap on clear storage and tap on delete. Next up is the Google Services Framework. So let's make a search for the Services Framework app as well. So it's the Google Services Framework app. Go there, go to the storage section, then tap on clear storage and tap on delete. Finally, it's the Google Play Protect Service. So let me now search for that as well. Play protect service so select this app go to storage and cache section tap on clear storage and tap on delete once you have removed the data of all these four apps you now have to restart your phone this restart is compulsory so let's do so right away so long press the power key and then click on restart your phone should now reboot and this reboot might take up a few additional seconds that's completely normal and nothing to worry about so let's leave our phone on that side itself and upon the restart, our task stands complete. I'll show you the status via the Yesnack app. And we will now be passing both the basic integrity as well as the CTS profile match test. And once you are passing both this test, you could then easily use the banking and payment of your choice without any issues as such. So let's wait for the phone to boot to the OS. And it's just about to boot. So let's wait for the time frame. And our phone is now booted to the OS. So before I'm showing the the result let me talk about something very important if you now launch the magic app and if you go to the settings icon and then go to the denial list section you could see that the google play service is missing from this list and google service framework is unchecked it's just a ui bug and nothing to worry about you could simply ignore this and in the back end everything is working well and good so it's just ui related and you have don't have to worry about this thing so with that said Let's now check out the result. So download the install the Yasnak app from Play Store and make sure you are online. Now type on run 15 at the station. And as you could see, we are now passing both this test. So guys, on that note, I round off this video. If you have any queries, do let me know in the comment section. And guys, please like this video and subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks. Thanks a lot for watching.